What's poppin' fabs? Welcome back to another episode of the CJ Show. And in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, I'm gonna introduce a new segment to you guys called Travel Talk. So basically, the overall concept for Travel Talk is, you know, weeks prior to the video, I went on a trip, I've experienced something new, and I want to share my experience with you guys so you guys can learn from my mistakes or find out something new um, about the place that I've traveled to. So, my goal with the Travel Talk series is to have a corresponding vlog on my vlog channel. So, if you pause this video right now, Head over to my vlog channel, go subscribe to that, and watch my Vegas vlog. Um, it's not the best vlog because I didn't get a lot of vlogging content, but I did get some clips and you can just kind of piece together what happened. But in the actual talk videos, I'm going to sit down and be talking to you guys, you know, on my basic whole experience. So today's video, we are going to be talking about Las Vegas. Woo! That's me at the blackjack table. The slot machine. Ching ching, ching ching. All right, so I'm going to be giving you guys three do's and three don'ts to Las Vegas. So, um, if you guys didn't know, um, last week I traveled to Las Vegas with my best friend for her birthday. We had the absolute time of our life until the end when literally everybody came home sick. Two out of the five people came back home with the flu. By the grace of God, I did not get the flu, but I did have a severe cold, and it was just not a good look, you know. So, um, we're going to start off with the don'ts, okay. Let, that's something different. So, let's start off with the three don'ts to Vegas. Do not, and I repeat, do not go to Vegas in the winter, okay. I... I don't care don't go in the winter when and I say that because yeah we went in the winter time I just feel like with it being extremely cold and us and us being from the south it kind of made us hard to enjoy certain things because with Vegas like a lot of stuff is kind of outdoors and you know we're not used to that type of cold and it really didn't make so I do not recommend anybody to go in the winter time. I say wait, go in your summer months, so like March. I would say March between March and September. That is your time frame to go. I think I think those would be the best months to go because it was just it was just awful. And then again, everybody came back home sick. So I think that had something you know, to do with it as well. Y'all like my sweater? I know this is a little sidetrack, but I was supposed to wear this in Vegas, but I did not. And I was supposed to wear it on Valentine's Day when I took myself out on a date, but I did not go on my date because I was still sick. But this is just a cute little sweater. Um, if y'all see me wear this later on this year for Christmas, you know, just mind your business. I like you never seen it. <laughs> okay. Um, another don't is don't try to plan out your whole day. Um, I think we got really, really caught up in the idea of having an, uh, of an itinerary and sticking to it. And I think that kind of took away from the day. I mean, well, we really didn't stick to the itinerary. Like, we just kind of later, like, we were just kind of just winging it. Because the way that Vegas is set up. This is also a dude that I'm going to get into. So the way the Vegas is set up, if you stay on the strip, all of the hotels and casinos are connected to each other. So you'll go, say for instance, um, how was it in our hotel? Okay, so you go this way. I really hope this is making sense to you guys. So like, I think you go like past the food court, you know, 
going towards this way of the casino and there's a connecting casino next to it and then there's a connecting one so like you just keep going and keep going like literally all of the casinos are connected to one another on the strip so I thought that was a cool thing you know that all of the casinos are right there literally um and walking distance so I would say don't try to plan out your whole day I mean if there's like things like you are for sure for sure certain do definitely plan out those but the rest of the day just wing it because you're literally never know what you're gonna run into it's Vegas um I would oh another don't is do not I repeat do not pay for parties, um, club admissions, any of that beforehand because nine times out of ten, you can probably get in that club for free. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the club Dreyas, but it's a very, very popular club in Vegas and Gucci Man, he just um, switched his residency over to Vegas. Dreyas, I meant Dreyas. Vegas, and we were so excited to go see Gucci Man. The tickets were like $30 online, but for some reason, like the whole time, something was telling me like, you know, don't, don't buy them just yet, don't buy them just yet. So that Saturday, you know, when we were doing our activities, we were on the strip. This guy was like, hey, y'all want to get in for Dreas for free? And I'm looking like, uh, duh. And he was like, okay, I'm going to put you on my guest list. And da 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 you know, get there for a certain time. Now, the gimmick is, okay, they want you to get there for a certain time. Like, they want you to get there before 12, okay. But Gucci Man don't come on to about 1.30. And then the clubs, the only seating they have is the seat in the sections. And, you know, people get pissed off, you know, when you sit in their sections and you pay. So, you got to stand up for a long time, you know, till they get there. But once they come out, it's all finally worth it. If you're used to being in that type of environment, you know, that's cool. But if not, definitely bring you some flat. And also, Vegas, those clubs, they do stick to a dress code. So, you just can't go to Vegas, can't go in those nightclubs, you know, with just, like, just anything. Or, like, you have to be dressed up. They, they don't play about dress codes. Like, that's all the promoter was telling me, you know, oh, this club has a dress code. So, yeah. So, um, again, don't pay for any events. Because nine times out of ten, you'll probably get into that same event for free. You just have to run into the right person. Now, if it's getting down to the wire and, you know, and you didn't meet a promoter, you're not on the list, then I would definitely go ahead and buy the ticket, you know, just for, you know, just to have it, just not to not risk paying that higher price at the door. But I would say wait till you actually get there. So let's go back over the three don'ts for Vegas. Don't go in the winter. Don't try to plan out your whole day. And don't pay for events, club admissions, and events. Okay? So now we're going to get to the do's. Um, do wear comfortable shoes. I mean tennis shoes because you're going to be doing lots and lots of walking. You know, a lot of time on your feet. So definitely bring tennis shoes. I think that was my kind of downfall. I only brought one pair of tennis shoes to go with one outfit. And by the second day, I was wearing those same pair of tennis shoes, even though I didn't go with my second outfit. But, um, <laughs> but yes, do bring tennis shoes. I would, I would definitely say that. Do bring tennis shoes and try to leave your heels at home. Or you can bring your heels to the club, but, like, just bring some flats in your purse. Um, another do I recommend is stay on the strip. Because, like, a lot of things, you know, to do in Vegas, you know, are on the strip. And, again, it's, like, walking distance. Like, we we stayed on the strip in New York, New York, um, the hotel that has the roller coaster around it. By the way, I did get on that. Greatest thing I ever done. It was a life-changing come-to-Jesus experience. But, um, <laughs> but, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, staying on the strip. So, with that, um, 
the hotel was actually literally about a 15 minute walk down the street from our hotel and we would have never known that if we were, weren't staying on the ship we were literally you know we we're just gonna walk and just see and we walked right up on it and i got on the new york new york the what the manhattan express is what it's actually called y'all oh my gosh pause this video and go look up on youtube the manhattan express Y'all, when I tell y'all, I've never been so scared. I never called on Jesus so much. Because y'all, I thought I thought I was going to see Jesus. Oh, I called on Jesus so much that day, Lord. And last thing, um, number three is, well, this is technically, okay. So last number, last number three is do get off of the strip. You know, I know people, you know, are very big on, you know, the Las Vegas strip this, the strip this, strip that, strip this. But, you know, there is so much other things to do to Vegas, you know, besides the strip. Um, I do have a feeling that I'm going to go back again simply because we did not get to do everything that we wanted to do. And um, so things that are off the strip, Fremont Street, that's off of the strip. And that's what Las Vegas really looks like because I know when you think Las Vegas like you think lights and showgirls and party and all of that and really on the strip the strip isn't like that the strip is basically like a whole bunch of casinos and hotels and nice buildings I mean it looks nice but it doesn't look like the Las Vegas we think of Fremont Street that is the Vegas that has the lights, the um, the zip lining, all of that stuff. So I would definitely recommend going to Fremont Street. I would go to Fremont Street at night simply because the photos would be bomb.com because of you know because of the lights at night um unfortunately i didn't get any pictures of fremont street because when we went we went to fremont street sunday night and that's when i was getting sick so i was sick sunday night to basically tuesday morning when we got up and left so yes yeah, so i didn't really get to experience fremont street how i wanted to but nevertheless i did have fun um i hope you guys learned something from this video um if you have any other questions about vegas um definitely leave me a comment down below i will do my best to answer them um if you like this travel talk video give it a thumbs up let me know if you want me to do some more travel talk series videos um in the comments so far i've been to made in america in philadelphia i've been to miami during memorial day weekend that's a pretty popular time to go and where ha where else have i been I'm leaving somewhere. Oh, I've been to Cancun, Mexico during Cinco de Mayo. And I've also been on a cruise to Mexico. So if you guys would like to, um, if you guys would like to hear my experience about those, any of those places, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this video. Share this video on all of your social medias. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you in my next video.